Hello, and thank you for watching this Covair video presentation. Today we will demonstrate the capabilities of Covair's Omnibus integration platform in assisting organizations migrating from HP Quality Center to TFS and Microsoft Test Manager. We start here in Quality Center to see the requirements, tests, and other artifacts that will be migrated to TFS. We're logged into QC in the default domain Migration Project. You can see here in the Requirements section the Omnibus folder. On expanding this folder, we see two requirements, Omnibus Registration Page and Omnibus Entity Mapping Functionality. The chain link icon here indicates that these requirements have relationships established. Notice that our second requirement also has the paperclip icon indicating an attached file. Let's look at the details of the first requirement. Notice the requirement has an ID of 9, is of a functional type, and several of the other fields are populated as well. This requirement has a link defect, validation error at registration page. To verify this requirement, there are two test cases. First, we have test for registration page, a simple manual test case, and second, we have the omnibus login test, which is an automated test case. You can see the type of test is indicated by these icons. On this next requirement, Omnibus Entity Mapping Functionality, note that we have an attached text file, mtmdetails.txt. This requirement also has a link defect, JS error at field mapping page. For this requirement, there is a single test case named Project Selection, a simple manual test case. Next, we move into the testing area to examine some of the details of our test cases. The test plan consists of three tests. As we've seen previously, the Omnibus login test case and the test for registration page are linked to our first requirement. The project selection test is linked to our second requirement. You'll notice our test case, test for registration page, has three steps. The first test is the test for general info. Next, we have a test case, our project selection test case, which has been nested and used as a test step here. In QC terminology, this is referred to as a call to test. The third test step is called test for security parameters. Notice that the first and third steps are parameterized tests as indicated by the parameter names encased within triple sets of angular brackets. If we take a look at the parameters tab, we can see the values that will be used for the test. The green check marks indicate that the parameters are currently in use in one or more design steps. Next, we move to the project selection test and see that it has only a single step, select default project. This is a simple manual test. Last, our omnibus login test is an automated test with a QTP test script associated with it, as you can see here. We've just seen our requirements with their associated tests both manual and automated, defects and attachments in Quality Center. Next, we move into Covair to show you how migration is done. Here we are in the Covair application, and I'm currently logged in as an administrative user with the necessary permissions to do the migration. The synchronization option is available from the tool registration page in the Omnibus setup area and is used for migration. I'll select the QC registration, right-click to bring up the context menu, and select the Synchronize option. Here's the tool synchronization page. In the synchronization list, we have already configured a synchronization named QC to TFS Migration. You can save your configurations for later use. Alternatively, we could have simply given a name to begin creating a new synchronization. Instance 1, the source instance, is automatically set to Quality Center since we began the synchronization from that tool. We have selected the target instance, TFS. The project selection choices available are set based on the project or projects chosen for the tool registration. There may be more than one available, but in this case, there's only a single project in each tool, so they are selected automatically. Next, we see the base entities for the synchronization, in this case, requirements. Next, we come to entity mapping, which controls how data is mapped from the fields in one tool to the fields in another. Since there is only one mapping that has been created for requirements between these two tools, 
it's automatically selected. Next, we move to the item selection criteria. Here, we are able to define conditions to control which data is to be synchronized. Items matching the conditions specified here will be included. In the field dropdown, we can select any of the various fields in Quality Center, pick a condition, and provide a value. For the purpose of our demonstration, we set the condition requirement ID is greater than or equal to 9, which matches our requirement ID in use, numbers 9 and 10. It's also possible to use multiple conditions as well as set conditions in the target instance. Now that we have completed migration, we move into TFS Server to see the results. Here in the MTM interface, we can see the Omnibus test plan. I'll open up the test plan. Here we see the Omnibus folder, the two requirements it contains, and the three tests contained in our test plan. Selecting the individual requirements shows the linked test cases, two for our first requirement, Omnibus Registration Page, and one for our second requirement, Omnibus Entity Mapping Functionality. Opening our first test case, Test for Registration Page, we can see the three individual steps it contains. You can see here our three test steps, which have been migrated from QC, along with their parameters denoted by the at symbols. The parameter values are listed below, a web service URL and server name. For our second test step, we had used a call to test in QC. The equivalent concept of reusing a test case as a step is referred to as a shared step in MTM. Opening up the shared step reveals the individual testing steps contained within it. Here is the Omnibus login test, which as we mentioned previously is an automated test. Under the associated automation area, we find a few attributes, the test name, storage area, and the type of test. We now head over to TFS 2013. Clicking on the All Requirements query brings up our two requirements from QC. Again, from here we can see the two test cases that verify this requirement. Clicking on the All Links tab, we can also see the related bug. Notice in the classification area, we have the full path to the Omnibus folder. The area path consists of the project, migration, the artifact type, requirements, and the folder for requirements belonging to Omnibus. Here in the history for the requirement, we can see that an audit trail is being maintained of every change to the requirement, including by whom and when it was altered. Similarly, in our second requirement, we have the linked test case. In the Attachments tab, we can see our file from QC, mtmdetails.txt, which we can open from here and view its content. I'll run the All Test Case query so that you can see the test cases are also available from here within TFS similar to what we saw in the MTM interface. Now it's time for us to start a build. Here is a build definition which we have previously created. I'll queue a new build based on this and assign it a high priority. Here you can see our newly started build as its status is updated. It's running and is now complete. Once the build has been finished, the automated Omnibus login test begins to run in QTP. You'll see the Covair login page opened, credentials supplied, and automatic logout. Here we can see the summary for the build. The summary is updated with the results of our test run. So far, we've seen the test run in QTP with the results being passed back into TFS. Next, we run this test from within the MTM environment. I'll set the test to be run against the latest build here.
Now that that's set, we head over to the testing center to run the Omnibus login test. As we run the automated test, you'll see QTP open and the same test repeated, logging into the Cover application and out once again. Now that the test is complete, I'll refresh and you can see the status of the test has been changed to passed. Let's check out the results view. You can see our test result has an attachment, a batch file called QTP result. Opening this provides yet another way to view the results. Here's the testing status as presented in the Run Results viewer. I'll create a new test case in MTM, which will flow into QC via the Cover Omnibus. This title will help indicate where the test is from. I'll also create a couple of testing steps and save the test. Back in QC, I'll refresh the view and you can see our test case and steps have arrived from MTM. I hope you've enjoyed this demo. To learn more about Covair solutions, please visit us at covair.com.